my favorites mentioning the title July favorites because it's coming to the point when it's the end of the July and it's gonna be the beginning of August which means school is just around the corner and I know, I know it's a nightmare to everybody please I know a lot of you all are getting really anxious about my organization tips video um, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be posting that it's either going to be my next video or the video after that because my next video is a clothing haul which I also said I was going to do which I already filmed that and everything and I've edited it and everything I just have to wait until the perfect moment to post it which is going to be Saturday but I had to post this one before because this was a July favorites and you guys really don't care about all my ramblings so let's just get started with the favorites let's start with the topic of beauty my first beauty favorite has definitely gotten to be the Naked 3 palette that I got a while back ago. Um, I have been like obsessed with the Naked 3 palette. Like I've been using like all of the different colors that it has and it, I just love it because you can like mix and match and I mean like I have it on right now too to think. It's like literally my favorite. I mean the eyeshadows and stuff they're so pigmented and I just love all the coral colors because I'm more of a coral person than like a brown person. So I love the corally pinks and I like how it gets down to like the kind of like shimmery pinkish darkish colors. I don't know. I just think the Naked 3 palette is the prettiest of all palettes and I'm really glad I got it. My next beauty favorite has really been the Clean and Clear Morning Blast, the Shine Control and Facial Cleanser because, well I use this every morning because I love it. It's just amazing. Like I like to wake up at 9 every day. so. I wake up at 9 and the first thing I do is I make my bed and then I go straight to the bathroom and I put this on my face and it literally like wakens me up like morning first like literally it is what the title says I think like it literally it wakes you up like you just feel like like right when you put it on like the smell of it it just everything just makes you go and then the bursting beats inside they actually work whenever I first got this product I didn't know if it was actually gonna like burst like like what was gonna happen but whenever I, whenever they burst it just feels amazing on your skin and I do feel like my skin has been less shinier whenever I've been using this so I really like this product it's it's one of my favorites okay so the next favorite I have for beauty is just this it is the Aveeno Ultra Calming Foaming Cleanser I like to use this one at night I don't know if it's really for nighttime or what but I like to do it at night time to calm my skin for whenever I'm going to go sleepy time. I don't know why I said it that way, but um, it feels really nice on your skin. And it's just, it's like all like foamy and I just, I really like it. And I just like love the effect it has on my skin. It makes my face feel really clean and I just, I like it. Okay, so the next thing I've really been loving is just my CoverGirl concealer because, I don't know, like, my Mary Kay one, I know it's not working anymore, so I decided to get a new concealer and I got the CoverGirl mascara, the CoverGirl concealer, and it's just like I have it on right now too. I have a lot of stuff on right now, but um, I just like like it actually like covers. It's like great coverage and stuff, especially on your pimples, and it's just I I really like it. I also use it as an eyeshadow base, and I think it works amazing as that which is surprising because it's not an eyeshadow base but I really like it. Now let's move on to the topic of hair. I've really been loving my, I don't know how to pronounce this, Batiste dry shampoo. It's like amazing like if I'm too lazy to wash my hair and stuff it like it really does do the job like it makes my hair feel like healthy and it's just I, don't, I just really like it and it's like 
and it also it smells like flowers which I think is the best part about it it's just like amazing like I really like it and yeah next hair product I've recently been loving is just the oh there's hair on it sorry is just the Moroccan Infusion Suave Styling Oil. I love this because it just makes my hair look so shiny and it just makes it look like amazing. Like I feel like one of those girls on like the commercial with the hair, they're just like. And then they're just automatically totally flawless, so. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to my favorite song. Some of my most recent favorite songs that I've been loving for like the July season have been the song Am I Wrong by I think Nico and like Swince or something. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names, but I just, I love that song. It's like... <laughs> My next favorite song is Got to Be Fancy by Iggy Aziala. I'm so fancy. You already know I'm in the fast lane from Alex to Tokyo. And I've also, most of the time, have had the song Counting Stars stuck in my head. I don't remember who it's. Oh, it's by One Republic. That's who it's by. And I've just, I've been like, some, most of the time it's like constantly in my head. So. Book of the month. I just I love the Fall in Our Stars. It's just it's such an amazing book. It's just if you haven't read it or watched the movie, please like literally like whenever this is video this video is over, please somehow try to manage to get your hands on this book or something because this is like literally like the most amazing book in the world. It's really sad at the end, but I mean, it's just, it's not what you expect. Just, uh, just, just go do something with it. Let's move on to my favorite movie. My first favorite movie has to be probably Bring It On because I'm a cheerleader and I just, I love cheerleader movies. Cause, well, I mean, not like all cheerleader movies because some of them are like bad just bad but I've really been loving bring it on because bring it on is like freaking amazing it's like about like this these cheerleader rivalries and there's this one squad who's just coming up with, who's just doing these cheers but they don't know that um, big red she was stealing the cheers from a different team and then they find out and they're just we didn't we didn't know about any of this and the other teams just being all mean to them and then they just have like a cheer dance off or whatever but it's just amazing and I just, I love it. I love, 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 love it. Then my next favorite movie, oh my gosh, like the best movie ever invented, is Mean Girls. Like, hello, we wear pink on Wednesdays. Da. It's just, it's, it's amazing. Just like, I love it. And uh, it's like the best, uh, one of the best movies ever invented. Like, literally, you can't sit with us if, if you guys. Remember those parts, or if I just sound like an idiot because you haven't watched the movie, and then go watch the movie so I don't sound like an idiot. So it's probably about it, except for wait, wait, one thing. I need to get. Minion <laughs> definitely has to be in this video. I want. I didn't win this minion. I got it at the fair. I didn't win it. The I was trying to do a bottle thing to win the minion. I didn't win it, and the guy just ended up giving it to me. He was really nice, and I got a minion. Oh, I got a minion. I just love my minions. Oh, I just love my minion. I've always wanted a minion, and now I have a minion. It's a minion. Oh.
is from the Snickle Me Too, and I'm pretty sure this is Dave. But yeah, guys, that's about it. So I will see you guys in my next video, which is probably going to be a back-to-school video. So bye, guys.